Welcome to my pharmacy. Yes. I mean, this is where we start talking about people think that modern medicine has to be controlling, invasive, disabling, expensive, and dangerous. And that's what most modern medicine is. In fact, real medicine is phytonutrients that nourish the body. They're antioxidants. They regulate uh, abnormal growth. They stimulate apoptosis or programmed cell death. We're going to start with one of my 60 fruit trees, black raspberries. What we have here, Ty, is arguably one of the most uh, impress impressive medicines that you can find, anthocyanins, antioxidants, ORAC, so oxygen radical absorbent capacity off the charts, add any elagic acid which stimulates cancer cells to commit suicide, and what you have is this, this feeds the brain, the lens of the eye, it prevents cancer. This is real medicine. And so fison is one of the more important phytochemicals in figs, and again, proven to stimulate apoptosis, or programmed cell death in cancer cells. Mm. Delicious, and if you think of all the ingredients, one of the things you're looking for here is uh, prebiotics. Uh, plant food, uh, fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes contain substances that we cannot digest, but our hundred trillion cells in the gut are using it for food. And if we feed our gut properly, it's called the microbiota, what we end up is we're making vitamin uh, biotin, vitamin K. Uh, we're also stimulating the immune system. What they find now is two-thirds of the immune system surrounds the gut, and by things that we cannot digest, uh, that prebiotics are going to improve our, our immune system. Mm. By the way, Patrick, that fig that I just ate, yeah. that's the sweetest fig I've ever tasted. That delicious? That's incredible. I'll tell you what, one of the things that I do, I add Epsom salts to the soil. Epsom salt is magnesium sulfate. If you look at green plants, what you have here is green chlorophyll, and chlorophyll takes the energy of the sun combined with water and carbon dioxide and it makes sugar. And then from that it makes proteins and all these exotic phytochemicals that protect us from disease. Well, the beauty of this whole business of that, the middle of that chlorophyll molecule is magnesium. If the plant doesn't get enough magnesium, it doesn't make enough chlorophyll. doesn't get enough chlorophyll, it won't make enough sugar. It's not going to get sweet enough. Mm -hmm. And all the other chemicals that it makes. So I put it like a handful of Epsom salts in a gallon of water and dissolve it at the base of the tree about three times a year. Delicious fruit. That's a great tip for people. You know, They're growing their own food. You know, do you see any bugs? Anything on that? No. This is all biodynamic, organic, and I'm not fighting any bugs. Essentially, the plant has its own immune system, just like you and I do, just like you people do. What you have is mm. these beautiful dark cherries, and they're sweet, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They're delicious. And what nature is saying is, all right, what I got is some sugar here, and the fungus living around us in the trillions wants to eat this. And so the plant has to create its own protection. It creates a uh, substance called phytoalexins, and that is, one of those is resveratrol. People have heard about it in red grapes. Grapes are another thing. So the sweet thing in the grape has to protect itself. So if a fungus lands on this and it eats that phytoalexin, it dies. It's sort of its own, it's a pre-drug, essentially. The drug companies can't duplicate this stuff. And that's the beauty of what we've got here is right. that you cannot patent a natural substance and that's why the $280 billion a year drug industry can't come up with something as effective as this. Phytoalexins in red and green fruits and vegetables have been shown to be anti-cancer the same way that they protect the plant against fungus. I find grapefruit a fascinating subject, Ty, because every pharmacist, every medical doctor tells all their patients, don't touch grapefruit. Mm. And what happens is grapefruit accelerates a detoxification enzyme in the liver, which changes the pharmacokinetics of drugs. So if you take a drug, it will have different activity if you're on grapefruit than if you're not. Okay. And so they tell you, don't eat grapefruit if you're on drugs. And I agree, I'm not against that. I got another idea. Get healthy and start eating the grapefruit because it improves the function of your liver in detoxification mm. pathways. Basically, oranges are good for you. Uh, citrus has got everything from bioflavonoids, rutin, hesperidin, vitamin C, uh, fiber, all those things that I mentioned. Uh, but blood orange goes a step further and it develops these red pigments yeah. for all of the phytochemicals that are going to protect you against heart disease, cancer, aging, inflammation. Uh, it, it's phenomenal. You know, I have a few silent partners that work with me, the birds. And what I sort of give them, I tithe to them. Okay. I give them 10%, they eat the insects, <laughs> okay. and everybody's happy. This is a peach tree, and there was a study that came out of Harvard in which they showed that 
People who ate peaches twice a week lowered their risk for breast cancer by 40%. How simple can it get? If that was a drug, it would have been headlines in USA Today, CNN, everywhere, and the drug company's stock would have doubled. There's at least 8,000 different carotenoids, at least 20,000 different bioflavonoids in fruits and vegetables. And they, they find that these things are extraordinary as anti-aging, antioxidant, mm -hmm. uh, anti-inflammatory. Um, there's, what, uh, 12, mil 12 million Americans who are on the Vioxx Celebrex drugs. They have chronic inflammation, chronic mm -hmm. pain. Eat more fruits and vegetables. And here is the sound bite I hope our, our viewers can take home. Uh, a healthy human body is self-regulating and self-repairing. It will protect itself from infections. It will slow down the aging process. If it finds any cancer, it will eliminate them.